Hey, it's Mr. Xyrus here with another battle gameplay. Today we're featuring the Battle of Zagzig between the forces of the French Republic and the Ottoman Empire. Leading the French forces today is uh, General Napoleon Bonaparte, and leading the forces of the Ottomans today is General Murat Durnat. And uh, leading the Ottoman reinforcements is General Mutersium Mimis. Uh, we find ourselves just outside the city of Zagazig, I believe. Sorry if I mispronounced that. Um, Egypt. I just captured this region uh, about a uh, round or two ago. Turn or two or turn or two ago, and uh, some Ottoman uh, forces approached, and I, th I didn't know if they were going to join up with some Malmuk forces or something, so I just decided to attack them. If you look at my army today, I have three units of chasseurs on foot. Three units of artillery, some 12 pounders, some 8 pounders, and some more 8 pounders, or 4 pounders, I should say. Uh, there's General Napoleon, General Bonaparte, I should say. Uh, two units of grenaders, they'll kind of act my, as my reserves today. And two corps of four, uh, un uh, four battalions of line infantry. The, the uh, kind of more Egyptian based infantry with the uh, um, turn, uh, robes and stuff and the um, headgear. And then the more traditional French infantry, with their uh, kind of their look, and uh, three units of cavalry, two units of chasseurs on horse, and one unit of dragoons, heavy cavalry. If we look at the Ottoman forces today, um, they have uh, they do actually have some units of normal line infantry. Uh, you can see their uh, Ortas, provincial Nizam. And uh, some normal uh, organized infantry. They also do have a lot of irregular uh, infantry too. Some ba Bashirs, Bazooks, I believe. Um, they have some camel warriors, some Dili horsemen, and some Sahis, I believe. You can find them. Some Sipahi cavalry. And um, they have a lot of artillery too. And their reinforcements are three units of artillery. So right now, I'm advancing my left. Uh, wing of chest of my left, kind of the left wing. I want to call it my left wing, but I'm advancing my unit, uh, corpse of uh, chasseurs on foot. I have them in uh, skirmish or light infantry formation here, so any artillery won't be as devastating. Um, eventually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring them all up to this wall right here, and I'm just going to have them stay there until my the main portion of my army advances, and then they'll be able to naturally flank and lay some covering fire. And to, in order to prevent any part of the Ottoman um, forces from countering those three and so chasseurs, I'm just, I'll lay artillery fire right in the center, right in front of them, um, to either allow for my units to retreat if they can't get to that position to flank, or to defeat any cavalry or infantry units they send to counter my chasseurs. For now, I'm just going to um, let my two uh, corps of line infantry wait, and I'm going to bring my two uh, units of horse cavalry all the way kind of behind this build to prevent them from artillery fire but they'll be needed if um, to flank or lay down some covering fire when my main army advances. Uh, since the last battle um, you may remember I defeated the British outside uh, Nicosia and the British threat has been completely eliminated um, from the Far East in this Egyptian campaign. I received a new mission objective uh, subduing the Bedouin they kind of have some regions uh, in the uh, south of Cairo that are very isolated and it'll take a uh, very uh, different kind of army to defeat them. Armies that can stand going through deserts without uh, um, falling to heat attrition like camels and such. Um, there was a small rebellion in Cyprus that I was able to suppress to prevent the British from returning. Uh, one of my spies was killed. I remember there was that one spy who was really uh, helping out with defeating those Malmuk armies um, east of Napoleon when I was had that army in Cyprus. And uh, he was killed during a battle. Um, I got a new agent as well. So um, I think he's a gentleman. I captured the region of Zagazig. And that's what we're fighting for right now. And I got a new spy as well. Um, also, unfortunately, a small... Uh, Navy of Ottoman uh, ships attacked those two units or two uh, ships I had that brought the, my, my army to Cyprus and they attacked that ship luckily my troops were off of it um, but they did defeat them because I really had no chance I think I had a slope and a corvette or corvette 
so my uh, army in uh, the Far East, or not the Far East, in Cyprus is kind of isolated right now, and I'm have to, I had to construct a new ship that is on its way there now, and kind of has to hide and go above the island to uh, pick up the army and uh, land them in the Ottoman Empire. Looks like we got some approaching camel or sapai cavalry here. Try to fire some grape shot on them. You can even see that through the smoke. About to face some fire from my troops though. see my uh, chasseurs on foot here. They've kind of find, found a comfortable little position here. So they will, they'll be able to flank when I my main army advances. And nothing much really happens until uh, my main army advances, so we're going to go ahead and fast forward into uh, any... Because uh, right now my artillery and their artillery are just kind of firing each other, so... And some various cavalry charges, so we're just going to fast forward until... Uh, any new developments occur. Alright, welcome back to the uh, battle here. My main army has advanced, the right wing advanced uh, first. Um, the right wing advanced first in order to kind of make, uh, hopefully force all the Ottoman troops or a good portion to focus on them and that would allow my uh, main center, my left wing, to flank along with my original flank um, um, plan to begin as kind of a flank almost in their rear, a uh, rear attack. But the Ottomans didn't quite do that, but it'll still be fine. All my grenaders, or my reserves, are also approaching. You can kind of see my forces kind of after this little cavalry attack we got going on here um, with the daily horsemen. Looks so like we got some retreating chasseurs and horse now. They uh, probably face some artillery fire. I also brought my four pounder artillery up. They'll go in this area right here in a little bit. But my two uh, eight pounders, or, yeah, I'm sorry, my eight and twelve pounders are going to remain there for the whole battle because that's a very good spot, kind of um, height advantage, so they'll remain there for the rest of the battle. Or for the most part. Looks like we got some uh, normal Ottoman light a line infantry here that we can face. I want to quickly attack them and hopefully they'll retreat soon because I kind of want to. I want to avoid getting my um, chasseur is attacked by us. You saw some grape shot there um, from the Ottoman artillery. But uh, right now, since the Ottomans moved up their forces a teeny bit, their rear was really vulnerable, and I just went ahead and attacked some of their artillery units, artillery units with my um, cavalry. You can see a uh, taking out right now. I already took them out, I guess, some, one unit of artillery. Looks like that's 14 pounders. Some three pounders, and hopefully I'll take them out a little bit with my cavalry in the rear. Kind of had a slight uh, Ottoman infantry charge with some Ortas, but they were able to be uh, fended off from from my right wing of uh, line of infantry units. And that uh, cavalry attack you saw earlier with those uh, oh that was a general's bodyguard. Sorry, it looks like the other general has also been killed. You can see I had them in square formation. Now I'll bring them up to join. Um, the right wing of the army. Hopefully my artillery will get in position pretty soon. They'll be able to lay down some good grape shot. Uh, General Napoleon. General Bonaparte, I should say, sorry. Um, there for any morale boosts. It looks like almost all of their artillery is gone. So that's a good sign, too. You can see my Chester has had to face a little grape shot, but hopefully they'll be able to recover from it. Looks like they will, so that's good. Now they just kind of have this little. Another you know, reason this is good is because the main Ottoman center didn't really know, you know, whether to counter the uh, troops right in front of them, their left flank or their right flank. So now since they're in that cluster, um, my rear artillery is re really able to just fire in that area and have a high chance of hitting either something or a good portion um, of their center army. 
Looks like we got some uh, normal Ottoman infantry that's returning, so I'll have to counter them with my Chasseurs, or I'll just attack them with my Dragoons, hopefully. Let's see. Got 39 Dragoons left. Hopefully they'll be able to take them out. Now I'm, uh, as I just saw my artillery is ready to be set up, I'm bringing my left wing of line of infantry back a little bit to hopefully kind of bring closer to the artillery the Ottoman troops and provide a greater effect uh, against the grape shot that I fire on them. Looks like the Dragoons were able to take care of that uh, returning unit of Ottoman infantry. Hopefully this grape shot is ready in a little bit. There it goes. The only bad thing about grape shot in this situation, I shouldn't say bad thing, but not as good, is since we're facing some irregular Ottoman troops, um, they're not as densely packed in normal um, uh, infantry formations, so uh, grape shot isn't as devastating. But still, as you can see right there, it forced them to retreat, so it still uh, played a good role. You can see the main center of the Ottoman forces facing fire from three different directions three approaching uh, different wings of my army. Actually, I shouldn't say three wings, because you only have two wings. But prongs, we'll say prongs. My chasseur is on horse, still holding strong, 60 cavalry remaining. My chasseur is on foot, still holding the left side strong. They'll face off against this uh, unit of Ottoman regular line of infantry in a bit. My reserves even getting a little action, the grenaders. You can see their main center is completely retreating, so I'm going to advance my center in a little bit. I'm going to move the artillery to the heights over here along with my right wing of uh, infantry. I'm doing a little infantry charge here with my grenades. Grape shots still be able, kind of far distance, but the grape shots still being effective. Looks like we got one unit remaining of Ottoman forces, 19th uh, Division of Ortas. They're retreating as well. So, uh, unless any other units gain their morale back. Oh, we do have one unit that gained the morale back. Some irregular troops that I'll have to attack with my grenaders. I brought my chasseurs up a little bit. Still uh, advancing my main center. Just as they start retreating, another uh, uh, battalion of Ottoman troops gain their morale back. You can see now I'm bringing the Ottoman, or not Ottoman, my right wing up to the heights over here. And I'm bringing my artillery as well up a little farther. And also my rear artillery bringing them up as I don't think they'll be needed. Um, at least not necessarily. I can set them up again if they're really needed, but I'm bringing them up for now. Looks like now we got two uh, battalions of Ottoman troops with their morale back. Some Azars and some Provincial Nizam set it.
got another unit now. Oh no, just two. Still two. Now I'm not attacking them with cavalry right now. Uh, another unit there getting the morale back because I kind of want to save my cavalry. I already have one unit of cavalry. I had one unit of cavalry retreat. And I've already lost 30 men. And I think 30 men in the dragons as well. So I'm kind of trying to save my cavalry because they always play an important part in these Far East campaigns. It's because I want to hopefully attack them with infantry because I have a lot of a lot of infantry I can spare. That's the only bad thing, not only bad thing, but one of the bad things about the uh, this Egyptian campaign is there's not a huge variety of uh, French troops you can choose from. Um, just grenaders. Once you you know as you proceed to build bigger barracks. Uh, just grenaders, and then the two different types of line infantry, and then chasseurs on foot, and then dragoons, chasseurs on horseback, and uh, a few types of artillery and light mortars. This is kind of when I realized that uh, those remaining Ottoman forces weren't intending to come back and fight, they were withdrawing from combat, so I might as well attack them with cavalry to try to get rid of uh, as much of them as I can so they can't return again in a bigger army or in a still strong Ottoman Empire, uh, and, uh, Ottoman army. I haven't had one of those battles in a while, sometimes you have a battle where you start to fight and then you realize that, luckily, or not luckily, but you realize that you're not going to be able to win and you have to advance, or retreat, I should say, opposite of advance, uh, retreat all of your troops, withdraw all of your troops, and have a strong rear to prevent them from um, just going I won't say going ham, but just um, going haywire on your retreating troops. Those are always kind of fun, even though you're losing. I think so far on YouTube I only put up uh, one video, I believe, of me losing a battle. I think it was the Battle of uh, Battle of Antwerp, maybe? And it was a loss. I do lose sometimes. Everyone lose. loses. So here now I'll advance my uh, cavalry in a little bit. Looks like we got four remaining units of Ottoman troops. I think I'll only be able to get maybe two of these units because the boundary of the battlefield is right here so it looks like that battalion will be able to withdraw hopefully not that battalion fortunately they formed a square right now so even if a square is small it can, it can still prove to be kind of deadly on your advancing cavalry troops so that's why I brought in the dragoons to help from the left I'm advancing the chasseurs too but they probably won't be able to catch up with um, those troops They are retreating now, so I will attack 16th Order. I brought a uh, General Bonaparte down here as well in case any morale boost was needed. Because that's the last thing you want to lose a cavalry unit kind of for kind of a stupid reason. So it looks like that will be the only battalion I'll be able to get. Looks like that will be the last kind of engagement in the Battle of Zagazig. Someone could tell me the proper pronounce or pronunciation of uh, Z A G A C I G. I'd like to know because I feel like I'm mispronouncing it. And after this finally battalion of Ottoman troops leaves, that will give the uh, battlefield to the French completely and a victory as well. Let's see General Bonaparte there. is the end of the Battle of Zagazig between uh, General Bonaparte and General Darnot. Um, they had about 300 more men than me, but I only lost 700 and they lost over half their army. Okay, unit stats here. Looks like the 4-pound cannons had 333 kills. Um, 
So that, the four pounder cannons, are the battle units of the day. Um, so that uh, brings, kicks the Ottomans out of the region near Zagazig, and uh, hopefully will bring the road to Cairo to capture the city of Cairo, which is a victory region um, in the Egyptian campaign. So other than that, this is Mr. X Irish. Thanks for watching the battle, and uh, I'll have another one out soon.